Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna talk about one of our most exciting subjects. I'm gonna give you a quick guide on the instructors and the workouts that I personally recommend. So let's get started. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Ashley. I am a rave mom and mom in real life, and I create content around self-care, my bucket list adventures, and raves and festivals. A big component of this channel is all about self-care, mind, body, and spirit, and I like to get the body <laughs> self-care in through Pelton. It's great as a mom to have something convenient in my house, especially right now as we're social distancing, and it allows me to keep up to date with all of my goals. It allows me to stay on track and it's a great, great community. And I wanted to share with you uh, some of my favorite instructors and workouts that I tend to rely on throughout my week. Now, a lot of you may be new, especially right now, it's becoming very popular. So I thought that I would just kind of go through the app with you, kind of section by section, and share with you what it has to offer. So I'm just gonna open up the app and I'm just gonna walk you through some of my thoughts here. So the first thing is that um, when you first sign in, you're gonna see that it's broken up into kind of four different sections. You have classes, programs, collections, and then schedule at the very top of your menu. So on the classes, you'll see it offers so many options, like it, the, the amount is endless and they're constantly adding more and more content for you um, as the months go on. I mean, they just added, I believe, prenatal yoga and dance classes. So the possibilities are endless. So at the top, we have strength. I love their strength classes. The cool thing about these is they have anything from 10 five minute strength classes to 30 minute strength classes. And you can combine those to get the maximum workout that you need. They have arms toning and that is typically taken in accordance with a spin class or maybe a quick run. Um, and it's just really lightweight workouts. And then anywhere up from there is kind of where you start to add intensity. All of the classes on Peloton Digital are usually ranked among difficulty levels. So you have kind of beginner, intermediate, and then you have advanced. So um, there, that is definitely a way that you can kind of filter and look through these classes. There is a filter feature and it gives you the option for minutes in terms of length. The class type, so is it going to be body weight, full body, upper body, core, the instructor, even the music genre, as well as um, you can also sort by a couple different things like trending, the most popular, the top rated, the easiest, the hardest. So that gives you such a variety. You can even bookmark a class and then filter by bookmarks later on. There's such a variety here. Uh, here's the inside scoop of my favorite strength training instructors. So my favorites are Robin. I pretty much love all of Robin's classes. Robin is kind of a spitfire. She is a Latina, she is fiery, and she really kicks me in my behind. So she really motivates me. She, you know, tells us there's no excuses. If you like that kind of instruction, style and you need someone to kind of kick you and kind of force you outside of your comfort zone, I highly recommend Robin. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yo, I'll go. What? I'm not playing with y'all. Here we go. Squat to press. If I am playing Sandstorm, I am not playing with you. Ha. Three, two, one. One thirty seconds, let's go. Ha, 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 ha. Woo! So I would love for you to take that squat to 90 or just below it. If your mobility isn't rocking with that today, it's all good. Try widening your stance just a touch and then see how you can move it. So Robin has strength classes. She also does um, running on the tread and she also does uh, spin as well. Another uh, strength instructor that I like is Chase Tucker. Chase has a little bit more difficult movements, but he gives you kind of a workout that you're surprised by, um, especially his 30 minute workout. Try to keep those steps as close as you can together. 
the further apart you step, the more space will travel, the more space will take up. Try to keep the steps as low as you can while dropping one knee forward at a time. You guys got it. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. He's very chill, even keel, but a lot of his workouts will take you outside of your comfort zone. They may not be traditional strength moves or, or circuits, but you'll definitely get a good workout and you'll be sore a couple days after, which is really great. Other instructors, I have to say that the females really bring it in strength. They are definitely my go-tos. Other than Chase, the females, all the females are my go-to. Rebecca, she's really great. She um, is, a, again, another instructor that it will give it to you straight. Left arm is always, always gonna face the ceiling. Up to my hand, up, knee under, still up to the ceiling, still up to the ceiling, and then I just reverse it to come back down. Hips down, blow it out. This is where I see a lot of y'all do sit-ups. No sit-ups. Down to your elbows. Y'all open my chest in, and then I roll down from the right to the left. All right, let's do it together. Six on the right, six on the left. We go in three, two, one. One, roll up to your right elbow. And she is tough as nails, and she will challenge you. But she also will give you modifications if you need them, um, but she's definitely no excuse. Jess Sims, I love her. She has such a positive spirit. She always starts her workouts with a positive attitude and a positive saying. I'll try to like put a clip here of her little saying, her feel at the beginning. Right to it! So right now you're working your upper back. Of course you have some other accessory muscles like your shoulders, your forearms, your biceps, but primarily working that back. And then we go into our push-ups, primarily working the chest. But again, the body never works in isolation. So she's all about that glazed donut look so you know you're gonna get a workout with her. And she's just positive and she she talks about just how grateful we are to even be able to move. And I really love that about her. And she kind of meets you where you're at. So again, a lot of modifications if you need them. I also really love Selena. Selena is great. Her upper body workouts are who you will feel the burn. She is awesome. I think she used to be a fighter. Guys, correct me in the comments below, but she's definitely very intense. And Adam Spear, I've heard really good things about him. I've only taken a few of his classes, but one of the programs that you may wanna check out in the strength are uh, Adam Spear's series on strength. I believe it's four weeks. Let me see. Yes, it's four weeks. It's called Total Strength with Andy. And if you're really trying to jump into strength and you don't feel comfortable with it, it's a good way to kind of progress and see yourself get stronger over four weeks. Another good program within strength that I really enjoy is the Core with Emma. So I think it's called Crushing Core with Emma. Check it out. A lot of people will redo these programs and you'll see in the fake groups that from time to time or month to month, they may resurrect them and you can follow along. It's a good way to just brush, and brush up on your skill and to just see more growth and more strength build over time. So going back to classes, they also have yoga. Now I am a local yogi and I actually have my own yoga studio that I go to and they are doing virtual classes right now. But when I'm in a bind and I can't make yoga with my studio, Peloton Yoga is definitely a great resource. And again, they have such a variety of classes for you. You can um, actually isolate and focus on a body part. So if you just wanna do a yoga flow for your legs that targets the legs, you can do that. They have upper body strength, they have balance. Um, so anything that you wanna target. And then they have traditional flow, have restore yoga they just added prenatal yoga guys that is a game changer usually it is so hard to find prenatal yoga in your area so I really applaud for adding that on that is 
freaking amazing. I also have chair yoga if you're just starting out um, or you just have a few moments. You can actually do it at work during your lunch period. It's really great um, when we are able to go back to work. Um, but they have such a variety of flows. So, and again, it goes from beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So make sure you check it out. The instructors that I recommend I love Dennis. Dennis is great for yoga. Aditi. Aditi is great. She's very chill in her flow. And I also like Anna Greenberg. So those are kind of the ones that I have tried out. Taking a deep inhale. Drop the right hand onto the back leg. Left arm reaches up. Peaceful warrior. Breathe. Bend the left elbow. Forearm comes onto the quad. Reach the right arm over. Inhale, left arm comes up. And then exhale, bend the left elbow. You better believe Anita Baker is on here. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Shout out to my mom. Left forearm onto the quad. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale. Go ahead and cartwheel the hands down. But yeah, I, all of the instructors are great. Check them out. And if you guys have any recommendations on instructors that I'm not mentioning here, make sure that you comment them below because I'd love to hear some of your experiences with the other instructors as well. Next thing is cardio. So cardio has kind of been the category that's kind of been smaller on the smaller scale but really building it up now and they're really creating more content for this section. So right now during social distancing they've even added family cardio. So different activities and workouts you can do as a family with little kids no matter the age. They've also added a kind of like a Zumba dance series that I was telling you guys about. It's called Dance Cardio, and there are multiple instructors for those classes. And they also have HIT Cardio. So if you just wanna do a body weight kind of HIT workout, they have those as well. Those are typically 20 to 15 minutes in span. Now, in some of with some of the older instructors from years past, they also had some shadow boxing and kickboxing classes in here. So I'm assuming that they're probably going to um, up those, those types of workouts because they do have some people who were really into kind of kickboxing um, in a previous life. So I'm sure they're going to probably add more of those as well, which is really, really exciting. All right, meditation. So guys, you know, your physical body is really important, but your mental throughout this journey, your fitness journey is even more important. So I really, really strongly suggest everybody try the meditation classes, try them out. So um, they have so many different types of meditations. And again, they span um, a, a long duration to a short duration. They have ones for the morning. They have ones around mantras. They have ones for sleep. Those are my favorite. I love doing the sleep meditations before I go to bed. It really helps relax and kind of shut off my mind. They've added in some family meditations in here, some gratitude meditations. They even have ones for commuting. So when I was going into the office I would do them on the train put my headphones in kind of cancel out everyone on the train and get my meditation in before starting my day it is perfect for that so my favorite meditation instructors are Anna Greenberg Chris and McGee um, a DT and in this quiet space you might gently scan through your body notice any areas of tension and take a moment to allow yourself to soften. Meditation starts from a place of relaxation. So relax the tops of your thighs and your hip flexors, your lower back. And let your chest be open. Let your next breath be received into a softening belly. This one. And then this one. And I also listen to Ross as well. So there's so many you cannot go wrong. So make sure that you check out the meditation. Running. 
So um, I don't have, unfortunately, a treadmill here at home. But when I was going into the office, we have a gym there. So that's typically when I would do my tread workouts. The treadmill classes are so great. They have such a good amount of programming for beginners to advance. You can actually do programs to help you train for the marathon, to help you train for a 5K, whatever distance, you can also do those as well. And I believe those are located in the programming section, but then they also have classes kind of similar to the spin where it's like around a 90s ride, a pop ride, the music. Um, they have hit classes where you do sprints and then you'll walk. Um, they have interval training, so much variety on here, it's really great. So not only do they have the running, but I also believe that they have a walking section too for the tread, so I'll get to that later. I haven't really used the walking workouts, but you can use the walking workouts for tread too, so it's really, really great. So my recommended instructors, I kind of stick to the tried and true, the similar people that I would normally use for strength. So I use Jess Sims, um, Robin, Olivia is really great with running. I forgot to mention Olivia in strength. Check out hers too, because she is such a spitfire and she also teaches spin. Um, but she's definitely positive, has a lot, a lot of energy. I really love her for running for that reason because it keeps me motivated to keep going. So yeah, make sure that you check out the running uh, classes because they're really, really great. Okay. So. 6.5 to 9.0 on your speed. We pick up that pace from this jog and we get into it. So now it's a little bit harder of a run. Definitely not your sprint. It's gonna be 30 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go 6.5 and up. Your elbows are swinging back and forth like two pendulums by your side. You can also think about them slicing. You do not want your hands crossing your body. At speed, you're halfway through. I typically do the intermediate classes because it's right there in the middle. I'm still trying to um, work on my speed, my mile towards, you know, get, kind of shaving off the time from my mile. So for me, I'm sitting in the middle, but like I said, they have beginner and advanced classes. All right. Another section that I'm really excited to start exploring now that I'm home is the outdoor running. So they do have outdoor running classes. I don't have any instructors to recommend for that, but I'm assuming that you will have some of the similar suspects. So I've heard that Bex is also really good for training when you're running outdoors. We have Matt, Robin, Selena, Olivia, so all of the, the regular instructors. But I would definitely check out Bex for sure too because she is a marathon runner and so if you are training for long distance, check her out. She um, was probably gonna be a really good resource. I believe she just ran the New York Marathon last year, so check her out. All right, so now we get into the bread and butter, which is spin. So obviously Peloton is known for their spinning classes. That's kind of where they started most of their content and you know they invest a lot of their time in the, into that content. That whole section, they have so many rides on demand. You can obviously uh, ride live, but right now, even you know, if you aren't able to catch those live classes, there's so many classes on demand, and they date back all the way since the very start. So I remember when I first started, I even took some of the classes in like 2016, like way, way back, back in the day, okay? As I mentioned before with the running and, and some of the other content, you can also filter them them by different music genres, which is really great. I love the EDM and house rides. That really gets me going. Obviously, I'm a house head, so that is kind of really what inspires me. When I used to run marathons, house music just really kept me energized, so that's kind of what I gravitate towards. But they have really good pop rides. I love the pop rides. Um, they also have something called the live DJ rides, where they bring in DJ John Michael, and he will kind of spin during the ride alongside the instructor. He's a riot, he is so much fun. So if you wanna check those out on demand, please do. Those are really, really great. They 
love it. Resistance, we're gonna take it anywhere from the 40s to the 15s. Kenyan, 50 to 60. In the saddle we go. Hips back, Taylor. Chest lifted. Hob and that elbow. Beautiful, 55 to 65 on that Cadence Resistance. And they also have these themed rides. So they have like a Diana Ross ride or I believe there was even a Green Day ride or a Red Hot Chili Peppers ride. The Lizzo ride is really, really popular. So you might wanna check out some of those. They'll do kind of an artist series and I think that they're gonna be doing an encore of the JLo ride coming up, so make sure that you check that out as well. Now, the different types of rides in terms of class type. So they do have it where you can go from beginner to intermediate to advanced, but then they also have different types of class format. So they have something called the groove ride. A groove ride is choreographed. Um, it's probably what you might associate with a traditional spin class where there's a lot of ups and downs, you go to the beat of the music, usually the instructors who have a dance background, and that's Emma and Cody, they are the ones that do a bulk of the groove rides. They're so much fun. I noticed that it really keeps me motivated. I tend to burn the most calories on the groove rides. So make sure you check them out. Anybody that knows Cody too, by the way, let me shout out him, knows that he is a riot, he is a good time, he is fabulous. If you're in a bad mood, Cody is like the best instructor to take. He has so many good sayings. Um, I would say that he is more from beginner to advanced, or he has rides that are beginner to advanced, but intermediate and beginner, he will meet you kind of halfway. So yeah, Cody is a good time. So, and I personally like Cody's pop rides and his groove rides. Those are my favorite. Last one, last one, last one, last one. Saddle, four, three, two, one, three. Ooh, I love a sound effect. And that was a good ass sound effect. Take a sip of water. Every bit of the ride adds something, it adds a layer. You learn something, you master it, then you learn something new, you add it to it, okay? You have my permission to fail, to, to mess up, to look like a fool. But I'm gonna support you the entire way. Cause I'm up here looking at a hot ass mess, okay? Stay with me. Let's go, one, two. So you're gonna add a tap back. If it's not comfortable, don't do it. Hips go back. On the one and five. If you gotta watch, just watch. Three, two, one, we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Other types of rides, there's climb rides. Those are really great, especially if you're strapped for time. You can do like a 10 minute climb and then do a strength class after that. So that is always great. And you definitely get a good burn in like a short amount of time with climb rides. They have hit or interval rides. Those are really great. Um, it's said that for hit or Tabata rides, so where you're doing like 20 minutes on, 10 minutes, or 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, that you tend to burn more fat that way. So that's really great if you're looking for weight loss, or riding for weight loss, do the hit, the intervals, and the Tabata ride. And then power zone. So a lot of people get confused around Power Zone. I just started to get into Power, Power Zone recently, and I can do a whole nother video about Power Zone. But Power Zone is really to help improve your performance on the bike, your output, your um, leaderboard status. It makes you get you know personal records or PRs. And so there's a science behind Power Zone training. There is usually like a fit test that you take before you start training or before you start doing Power Zone because the whole science behind it is that you're hitting certain zones of output throughout the ride. So they'll call out a zone like zone three or zone two, and you're gonna make sure that your output numbers match that zone. So 
Um, with that being said, there's a lot of resources out there. There's also groups that you can join and there's usually like a power zone challenge for each month that you can join. And I can talk a little bit more about that in a later video, but I will say I've started doing power zone and it's really great. My favorite instructors for power zone are Olivia. I really love Olivia. Like I said, she gives me a lot of energy. Dennis. Dennis is very like chill, laid back, um, but he's really good on form too. So if you really want to learn good form and then Matt, Matt is just so positive. He's so great. I love Matt. Um, he just has a smile on his face and it puts a smile on my face. So, you know, I want to have a good time while I'm working out. I don't want to make it feel like it's too much work. All right, so what do I recommend for workouts? So I love the groove rides, like I said. I love the genre, searching by genre. I also love the power zone rides, and I'm into the Tabata and the intervals. I think those are great. And they even have classes that are intervals and arms. So you get kind of a circuit in there where you're doing some toning for your arms with some lighter weights and then you're doing your intervals to kind of get that fat burn so those are my recommendations but I don't sleep on the low impact um, rides there also are um, warm-up rides and there's also cool down rides those are for great for days when you have a rest day or you don't want to overdo it or maybe you have an injury and you still want to get some blood circulating so yeah don't sleep on those those are my favorites in terms of instructors, I already talked about Cody. Alex Toussaint is really great. He's so positive. He's so motivational. Some of my favorite classes of his are the club banger rides. He does them every Saturday um, and people will wait for his class on Saturday. It's kind of an event of the week. It's, it's a way for you to kind of let loose. He plays like really high energy music during that time. Basically bangers you would hear in the club. That's kind of the premise. So those rides are really great. Today. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate you, right? First one's on you, baby. Woo! Hey. Oh, it's a perfect swap for us, too. I see your energy. I see your energy. 30 seconds to the clock, baby. 100. 120 traders. Let that shit out all the time. 3, 2, 1. 30 seconds. Get funky. Come on. Woo. If 120's out there, guess what? Don't stress. Woo. Right now. Allie Love. Allie Love was the very first instructor that I took. She's really, really great. She's so positive. I personally love her Tabata rides. They kill me. They're intense, but they're so effective. You really feel like you get a workout from her. But she also has um, a ride series called Sundays with Love, and it happens on Sundays. Um, it kind of has a really uplifting kind of spiritual feel to it. So if you're looking for a pick-me-up, make sure you check out the Sundays with Love rides. The movement and every Sunday's with love, we focus on a virtue, and that virtue today is determination. Determination is a positive emotion that helps you persevere towards a goal despite any obstacle. In this particular ride, we're going to make it a definite visceral reaction and response with that virtue. So that means this roadmap ahead of us is going to be tough. In our cadence, come on. One, two, one. Army of love. Let them hear us coming. Lights away. Hold it. Bring that beat in. Woo. One, two, one, two. We're going to safely reach out. We're determined to increase the resistance. It's like the obstacle. Ben is great for um, EDM and house rides. He also has a good variety of climbs. So you might wanna check him out for those purposes. Christine, I didn't mention Christine um, with Power Zone. I haven't taken a lot of her Power Zone rides, so I don't typically take her, but she is really great. She's a professional cyclist. I believe she's like a gold medalist. Like she medaled in the Olympics. So she knows her stuff and she is so, 
positive. She is very body positive, and it's all about what your body can do. Not about the weight, but what your body can do and becoming stronger. So she's very motivational. I would definitely check her out too. Like I said, my boo Cody, I love him. He's so high energy. For his rides, I recommend the pop rides, the groove rides. He also does a lot of themes, like he did like a backstreet kind of Britney Spears ride, the Lady Gaga ride, so he is always a good time. Dennis, as I mentioned, he's great for Power Zone. I also have done some of his hip hop rides. Surprise, surprise, Dennis is down with the hip hop. Check him out, his hip hop rides are a lot of fun too. I stole this cassette single out of my brother's bedroom so many times, I can't even tell you. Will you read us a bedtime story, please, oh, please? Oh, All right, you kids get to get, I'll get the storybook. Here we go, y'all, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, the cadence is 104. 30 to 40 resistance in 3, 2, 104, let's move! Once upon a time, not long ago, when people walk with Thomas and live life slow. The laws were stern and justice stood, and people were behaving like they're all too good. Well, the little, little boy who was misled by another little boy, and this is what he said. Emma Lovewell, I love her. She is so chill. Emma is just like chill. She's great for core, as I mentioned, but I also love her for her, her groove ride. So I typically go to Emma or Cody for groove, just because like she, um, is a little bit more advanced. I would say more so than Cody in terms of the complexity of her groove ride specifically. It is a lot more chill. She plays like a lot of deep house and there's a lot of movement action going on. And then out. This is like the Vogue Light. What'd you call it? Diet Vogue. Diet Vogue. Now we're gonna double time it. In four, three, two, and one. Let's go. One, one. Huh, huh. You got it. All right, hold. We're gonna do slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. Then coming out of the saddle to push. Here we go, slow, slow, slow. In and out, repeat. Slow, slow, in, double time. Huh, huh. Four times right here. Then we're out of the saddle pushing 70 to 80 cadence. Here we go. You got 15 seconds. You're in an interval right here, right now. A moment to push. But Hannah Frankenson, she's based in the UK. She's really great. She's very positive. She has a lot of energy. I typically just take her intervals rides, I believe. Her arms toning, do not sleep on those. The 10 minute toning with her, my arms killed. You hear me? Killed with her. So I like to take her sometimes too, right after um, I take uh, um, a, a regular spin class because she's really great and effective that way. Kendall, Kendall, word on the street is she has the best hip hop rides out of almost everyone. I haven't taken any of her hip hop rides. The classes that I typically take with her are arms classes, so intervals and arms, I'll take those with her. Um, she was a boxer, so her arms workouts are in Insane guy, Tunde. Tunde is a recent ad, but she is amazing. She has Angela Bassett arms. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, go see What's Love Got to Do With It. Like toned arms, like she is chiseled. I love her arms, but um, she also has really, really good rides. One of my favorite rides is one of her and Alex um, Toussaint. They did a Black History Month ride and she brings the heat. You know you're gonna get a good workout with her. She has such a good background um, story around how she fell into fitness. Now, but they're right here in my heart today. They 
made this possible. Originally from Houston, Texas. Born and bred H-Town. Where are y'all at? H-Town bitches, as the queen would say. You guys know. Ha! I was in beautiful California. For 12 years. And now I find myself here. Nigeria, you are my seed. Texas, you are my root. California, you gave me branches. New York, may you allow me to blossom. And I recently did an arm workout with her and Venus uh, Williams. She's always on live doing workouts, talking to people. So make sure that you also go on social media and follow these instructors because they really do like to get out there and talk to you guys um, and provide some advice or encouragement. So yeah, those are all of the spin instructors. So with that being said, the other classes that they offer, they offer stretching, which is good for anything that you're doing before and after. They also have boot camp classes and I believe that the format I guess it depends but usually the format is like 30 minutes of cardio and 30 minutes of strength um, I've taken a few of the boot camp classes with just sims and she's kind of my favorite but like I said um, make sure you check those out that's a good alternative if you want a class that includes everything in one session versus taking everything kind of broken out and then as I mentioned they also have walking I did want to share with you is they do have a feature in here called schedule and those are kind of like all of the live or encore classes that they have you can take any class on demand but this just gives you the ability to schedule out your day if you want on the encore kind of rebroadcast that they have so that's really great if you want to you know schedule it in the morning at night and then what happens is the app um, will notify you when um, your next workout is kind of coming up so you can kind of prepare yourself and get ready and you don't forget so that's also a really good feature. So guys, I think that's it. That is kind of my quick guide to the digital app, my favorite workouts and instructors. I hope that you found this helpful. You really can't go wrong. My last piece of advice is just to go on there, play around, have fun, and connect on the groups because there's so many people who've been in this community for a long time and they might have even more of their own uh, pieces of advice or they might even recommend a few rides here and there. So just have fun with it. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any recommendations or advice, make sure that you comment them below. And and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to get notified for more videos that post. And you can also click the little bell so you don't miss the next one. I love you guys so much. And as I always say, positive self, positive wealth. Bye, guys.